come. In Compton, California, a group of five students and three teachers are suing the city's school district for better accommodations of students who have experienced severe trauma, potentially impairing their ability to learn. Despite the cost it would take to satisfy those accommodations, plaintiffs <coughs> argue that expanding services for students suffering from trauma could end up saving the district money in the long run. The district has said it already works to deal with the impact of childhood trauma on a daily basis. If successful, the suit would force the district to provide staff training and to broaden mental health services, not to mention legal fees incurred by the case. That's a very strong mandate, and it needs to be funded, the district's attorney, David Huff, told NPR. Joining me now is president of the Compton Unified School District Board of Trustees, Makai Ali. Nice to have you here. Pleasure, pleasure. So what is the school district's perspective on this case? So the school district's perspective is very clear. We believe that the lawsuit is moot because we've been working diligently providing many of these services. Let's talk about the wraparound services. School-based health centers which has, uh, or which afford mental health capacity. Let's talk about the investment with respect to early childhood education. Talk about the audits and the ways in which we've worked to overhaul uh, special education. This lawsuit is a billion dollar claim a billion dollar claim and how do we find out about the lawsuit by way of a press release the fact of the matter is why compton why not sue the federal government why not look at ways in which to fully fund the idea act of 1975 so this was actually the question i asked the plaintiffs and so i'll ask you as well why not actually join up with the plaintiffs? because I, I i presume you are not saying we got a handle in the schools we have plenty of resources no worries so i guess part of what i'm wondering is why not join with the plaintiffs with students and teachers and say i don't know sue the gun manufacturers since young people are seeing trauma because of gun violence or um the federal government for sufficient resources like wh why not think of an, another defendant out there. Well, perhaps you're absolutely correct. Why not look at suing the state of California? Again, back to the federal government, the Individuals with Dis a Disabilities Act. If, in fact, we're going to classify trauma as a disability, then would it fall within the IDEA Act of 1975? But then here's another interesting point. At a time when school districts throughout the country are trying to reduce young African-American and Latino males engagement and participation in special education by way of something called disproportionality. Mm -hmm. Here, we're wanting to put more children of color into the special education system. So then again, let's really look at what are we trying to accomplish here by way of so, helping students. So this is really important. And Peter, I think it goes back a little bit to the stigma question I was asking before, although it's a little bit more structural, institutional than that. You know, for a long time, the behavioral responses to trauma of young people living in difficult circumstances have been labeled as learning disabilities as opposed to reasonable human responses to trauma. And yet, the ADA does provide very real protections that make the strategy a smart one legally. I, th I think it is a smart one. Uh, I think, to me, it's a little bit like targeting Topeka, Kansas for the Brown decision, uh -huh. right? Topeka wasn't the only one discriminating on the basis of race, but it set as precedent for ending racial discrimination throughout the country. Compton's being picked on, but they could have picked on Stockton, they could have picked on Oakland, they could have picked on many, many other places that have the same issues. Broward so County? This, New Orleans. Mackay's right. Mm -hmm. Broward um, County? That, you know, why pick on Compton at the same time? Compton has the issues. Broward and, and County? I don't think it's a stigma 